Hi, my name is Andreas Nigemann and I want to show you a quick tip regarding HTA Hypertext application. This is a Windows system to build from scratch from HTML code in conjunction with uh, JavaScript methods simple Windows applications. In this section here I want to build a menu system starting different Windows or DOS programs from a menu system and not directly from the command line. I've highlighted here already the four lines of menu system here and, and I want to show you how this looks like. So you see we have here a simple menu system with an RDP client, WordPad, Dir, CMD, and a special exit button. You see the exit button down here. And uh, so when I press the button RDP client, the RDP client for desktop, remote desktop of Windows comes up. If I start WordPad, WordPad comes up, a simple menu system. A little bit different is, is it on the DIR side of the menu system, DIR executes a command line interpreter, uh, performed a DIR on the main drive here, and then I had to close the window to come back to the menu system. The same is here with CMD, it starts a second command interpreter, and I had to exit two times because from the internal command interpreter, I'll start a second command interpreter. So, and while I press on the exit button, I will leave the menu system here. As you see it, every time I press one of these four buttons, RDP client, WordPad, their command, there is an on-click item, an on-click event that's uh, ex executed on the press of this button. For example, I have here the IDP client and I'll start MSTSC exe with the method JavaScript method exec. You see the JavaScript method exec on the top it takes two parameters and the second parameter is optional. First, you had to specify the program, including any parameter, within one string. Then you can specify optionally via mode parameter if you want to see and keep the underlying command window or not. In this case, starting MSTSC and write, I don't need the command window below. But in the case of dir and command x, I need it here. So at the command x, I specify directly the parameter 1. But on the dir command, I do not specify the mode parameter. And so it defaults to the value of 1. So I can change this also here in the same thing that I can leave out the optional parameter and the uh, behavior is the same as before. We have the command line window that I have to close via exit or the dir that's performed the same way. So if we want to extend the menu, we simply copy one of the existing lines. First, we change the text, the value item to let's say notepad. And then we change the on-click event to the notepad exe. And when we execute again, we see here, oh, there is a new button on top called notepad exe. When I press this button, there is the notepad. So as you can see, a very simple system to see a menu, to define a menu, to develop a menu without using an IDE, an integrated development environment like Visual Studio or IntelliJ IDEA, uh, something like this. So you can program with very little code a simple surface 
and a, a application below the surface, in this case a menu system. You can find more HTA examples, one more example on my website. You can see it here on FA Down. And down below there is a FA Down demo menu HTA that I have used for different demos of my program FA Down. So when you click inside, you see the code as we have it here, and we have in uh, to get all together in this menu system six menu lines which starts FA down with different parameters as you can see it here. Thanks for watching.